normally you've got quote unquote sphincters to prevent this from happening. Correct. And sphincters are really just doors, one at the bottom here of your esophagus. And this separates your stomach from your esophagus. But if you have a problem with it. So normally it would stop right there. Right there, right at that door. But if it goes past that door, what do you get right there? Now you're getting your heartburn symptoms, your gastroesophageal reflux symptoms, chest pain, substernal chest pressure, burning. So that's when this door is compromised. However, but. this upper door, this upper sphincter, if that's compromised, now you're getting this acid way up into your throat, into your voice box, and sometimes even into the nasal passages. And that's what causes those symptoms. So Ty has a diagnosis. So what now can Ty do? Well, we always start with a dietary intervention. So we try to reduce some things that are going to increase acid production. And if she has changed those things in her lifestyle and in her diet, and she has symptoms that still persist, then we're going to have to start medications that may help her. Dr. Satcher, thank you so much for explaining You're this welcome. to me. Really Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you.